The eyes on it tools allow the operator to find a part and mark. Focus and calibration are critical for the location of the part. Verify that the part is calibrated and in focus by running a test mark and checking that it is marking exactly as shown on the screen. If not, you may need to make slight adjustments to the focus. If your mark is way off, you may need to recalibrate. Once the focus and calibration are complete, you are ready to use the Eyes on It Finder tools. I want to take just a moment to explain what Eyes on It is looking for. In this example, we are going to be looking at a rectangle but we need to establish a range to find it. We need an inner or a lower range, an outer or upper range. To get the most accurate measurement, use Merlin to draw a box around the edge of the part. Then you can open the box tool and record your width and height measurements. In this example, we have a width of 2.63 inches and a height of 1.51 inches. We can simply add a tenth of an inch to get an upper and subtract a tenth of an inch to get the lower. Now we can look at the Eyes on It Finder tool. In that tool, you can decide what you're looking for. The re circle, rectangle, line, and edge all work in very similar ways. Once you've chose the rectangle tool, you will see an upper and lower input area. You will need to take the original dimensions and subtract a tenth of an inch for the lower and add a tenth of an inch for the upper. Because your rectangle can come in at any angle, Make sure you check the angle box. Now you've created a tool that will find the rectangle. Let's look at what happens when it finds that rectangle. Normally on a laser, the center is the exact 0, zero position of the field. When you find an object, it will move that center of the field to the center of the object. This is an automatic offset no matter where the object is in the field. This allows the operator to place their text marking in the center of the window and once the object is found it will offset the text to the center of the object. So now let's create some text. We are going to use the image from the camera for alignment. Grab any text tool that you would like to use. You can now move this text anywhere on that part. Now I change the color for contrast. You can also make adjustments to the part, but you must retake the photo to see the change. Once your alignment is good, you will then grab your text and right click, choosing center in the window as an option. Your text will move, but now it is in sync with the eyes on it tool and will center wherever the object is. When you start the marking process, it will first find the object, then mark the text. It is nearly instantaneous. Slight adjustments to your text can be made by adding to the offset of that text. Changing the x-axis will move your mark from side to side and in the y-axis up and down. Now you can use these same tools for a circle, specifying the upper and the lower. On the line tool, you're going to specify just short of the length of the, of the line and just past the length of the line for upper and lower. For an edge, no parameters are needed as it will find any edge that is present. We will be discussing the pixel tool in a different video.
the automatic mark positioning tools from Telesis Technologies.